Hello and welcome to another purveyor of light, Lightroom Quick Tip. Uh, today we're going to cover how to steal some color grading from one photo to another photo uh, and do it relatively easy. Uh, this is a technique that I uh, had shown uh, in Photoshop for a long time ago uh, and it involved a lot of steps and that, but a lot of people in Lightroom uh, wanted to know how to do it within Lightroom and hopefully in the fewest amount of steps as possible. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Okay, so what I've done here is I have a picture of a uh, uh, from uh, the The Martian, the movie, and it's got very cool uh, color on this one here. Uh, it's very cool color grading on the, the surface of Marsh. And uh, I said, okay, this would be a good one to turn around and use. So I've got that. And then, of course, my main uh, photo is what I'm going to apply that color grading to. All right. So the first thing I need to do is I need to steal the color grades from this photo. So we're going to go ahead and just open this up in the develop module. And then we're going to go down to color grading. Okay. And you got to make sure you're on the shadows and then you notice a little square box opens up okay that square box doesn't happen if you're in the automated mode so make sure you go into the shadows and then you get that little square okay if you click that little square this little throw out uh, menu comes up and this allows us to mark custom colors okay and that's how we're going to steal the color grading all right so you got your little picker here and I'm going to do the first stab. I'm going to go, this is going to be my shadows. The next one is going to be my midtones, And the next one's going to be my highlights. So from the left, shadows, midtones, and highlights. So that's how we're going to keep track of it. So I'm going to look at the photo and I'm going to go, well, where are the shadows? And what's a good, you know, pickup for that? So I'm going to click on the dropper and drag it. Okay. And as I drag it, you could see that the color is, is changing into the shadows. So if I select this color, okay, and uh, let go, you'll see that the color now is selected as red. And so now I'm going to take that red color and I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to set that as the current shadow color. Okay, easy enough, right? So then I'm going to come in and I'm now going to sample for a mid-tone now mid-tone is usually pretty good to go to the skin if there's a human in the the photo okay so i'm going to do that and that selects that and i'm going to uh right click and set that so now i have the shadows and the mid-tones all i need now is to do my highlights so i grab a picker again and i'm going to pick a good place where the highlights are and um, I'm going to say maybe we'll try that for there. And, and I'm going to put that into things. So now I have the three colors. Okay. And so now we can close that up. And so now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the other photo. And now we're going to apply that, uh, apply that color grading to this image. And it's as easy as just picking the swatches that we made. So again, go to Shadows. And then select the shadow color. And you'll notice it gets applied to the image automatically. Okay. Now I'm going to go over to my midtones. So I select it. And I now bring up my midtones. Okay, and you can see how the picture is now taking on that color grade again. Isn't that cool? All right, so now the highlights. Last thing. And there we are. Okay, and we have successfully color graded the image, stealing color grading from another. And look at the before and the after. Is that, on, is that easy, cool, and amazing? 
Uh, so this technique allows you to steal any color grading from any image. Uh, and it's a technique I use all the time. So hopefully you found this uh, fun, useful. And until next week, you guys take care.